Hi there, thanks for checking out this video. This is just going to be a testing video of uh, this unit here. This is a 12 volt unit uh, made by Gallagher. It's a B700, it's got seven store jewels, so it packs uh, quite a punch. It's one of the bigger battery units that's out there by most, you know, by a lot of brands. Not a lot of people that make 12 volt units get into these units that are, that are over five joules, but um, the Gallagher does. Um, this is a really, really, really good unit. Uh, don't get these in for repair very often, so that would probably tell you that they don't go bad that often. So, but we repaired the board inside this unit versus replacing the board, so that saved the customer quite a bit of money. Um, it was a, a bit of a uh, guessing game on the board because there's a lot of parts to it. Um, you know, know exactly what was wrong with it, so that's why we didn't make a repair video of it because. I started to, and then I, was, I got looking at the time, I'm like, God, I'm up to like 45 minutes in this video, and I'm just going to town on it, but it, it doesn't take way too long, and I didn't want to make that long of a video on a repair, so we're just going to go to a testing video instead. Um, but uh, let's pop this open, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, real quick, it does have two lights. Uh, this light comes on and clicks and flashes. With every pulse, this is just your low battery light. So when you get, uh, right now I got about 13 volts running into it. And if we lower the voltage down, I got 10 volts running it. Let's see what, and you can see that the little red light there coming on. That would tell you if you own this unit that, hey, you got a, especially if you don't have a solar panel on this, this would tell you, hey, you've got a low battery. Um, I'm going to crank it up a little bit and see what happens. I'm up to 11 and a half volts. And you see it's still flashing. It's uh, definitely struggling because I only got 11 and a half and it was cranking over 12. We're at 12.9 uh, it's still flashing out light oh that little red light slowly going out just see if we turn it off and turn it back on see what it does just for the heck of it Seems to be running fine, so all right, let's pull, pull it open real quick. How you open up these units, um, you need, uh, don't have any screws on it, you need a couple flat screwdrivers. It kind of comes apart the same way as the uh, Gallagher MA100s and M1500s, and uh, there are small batteries that they used to make, we call the B160 and B150s and B250s and B260s and such. Um, and they had some small batteries that were shaped kind of like this, but they didn't have all had this extra bit of plastic on the sides, like the M400s, um, old Wrangler units, M M250s. But it's got a little holding tab up top here, and a little slot, a little black tab inside there. So you need to take your screwdriver and put it in the center of that little slot there, on and then put it on top of that metal t uh, little plastic tab. And it's kind of lift up, so you don't—it doesn't move that much. So you just lift it up until it stops, and then hold it. And take another screwdriver. It's kind of a little groove. And there's a groove like right there, and a groove like right there. A little hole, a little recessed area. So push another flat screwdriver, so it's sitting in like that. And it pushes this this screwdriver that way, so it pushes this away from the outer casing. And to take a little force, but that's good to go. So I'm just gonna slide apart. There's nothing inside the case, so it's just an empty shell. Other than that, that's what the unit looks like. Got the main power board, which is what we repaired on the on the unit. It's got a got two capacitors, one built onto the top of the board, and then a, a little bit bigger one underneath here, and then the transformer sits right there, kind of a beige color. So there's it 
flashing along there. So we'll put a uh, tester across it. See what we're getting out of it. Getting about nine to ten thousand volts out of this thing, so it's hitting hard and heavy. Let's put a uh, piece of wire across it. Show you the spark it throws. And touch the green. And get this other end of the wire real close to the red. Sometimes these videos and the camera and everything doesn't do it justice when it comes to snap. Sometimes it does if it's a real, real big unit, it'll light the whole screen up. But, um, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, give you a little bit of insight on it. Another thing on this, let me put this back together real quick and I'll show you something on this unit. Well, no, I actually need to ship from the inside. There's this little blue dip switch thing here. It has three switches on it. It corresponds with these switches right here that are on the side of the case. And this thing has some uh, different uh, battery save modes, it calls it. Um, right now it's got switches, let's see, one and two down, three up. So one and two down and three up. Okay, I think one and two are the battery save uh, deals. And switch three has your battery protection mode. So switch three is up. So that means when it, okay, when the battery gets pretty darn low, since it's in the up position, it will stop pulsing. If one and two are down, night save mode. So that means there's a little bitty bulb right next to this, right there, right next to the big one, there's a little bitty bulb, a little bitty one right there. That's the photo sensor. That detects through this little lens here how much sunlight is hitting it. So with this being on night save mode, um, when it gets pretty dark outside or real cloudy, you know, really, really overcast day, that will slow the pulse down to kind of conserve the battery on it, especially if you have a solar panel hooked up to it. Or if you don't, it, you know, conserve a little battery for you. That way it's not running hard and heavy. And like, you know, a lot of animals, not all of them, but a handful of livestock is usually active during the day and they go to sleep at night. So a lot of people um, uh, that own these things, you know, putting around an area to, for big, big area where there's no power. Um, you know, your animals will sleep at night, so there's no reason to have a you know a unit running full power, you know, full pulse uh, during the you know, at night. So the solar pulse at night, and as soon as the sunlight comes back out in the morning, that thing oh sees the sunlight, so it kicks the pulse up a little faster, like it like normal. And it kicks it in the gear again, um, but you can. It looks like um, you have day save mode right there. It says that means it will pulse uh, fast at night and slow during the day. So if you got like um, a predator problem during at night for whatever reason, or you've got um, you know a deer problem getting into a food plot or something like that, uh, or you know a big garden setup or something like that, you could put. Um, you know, where the unit's active, the, those animals are active at night, so you can have it pull slow during the day and fast at night. You can also, it says here, maximum save, which I would guess that would be slow during the day and slow at night. But then you can have standard mode, which is the top one here. That means it's going to pulse the same, which is normal pulse by every second and a half, roughly. And to do that same pulse time, day and night. So, but anyways... This was just a brief overview and a testing video of this unit. If you've uh, you know got one of these units, or you've got a, another Gallagher unit, or any brand out there, um, you know, give us a holler. We'll be happy to help you out. You know, we're just a repair shop. All we do is work on this stuff. Uh, we don't sell anything. 
Uh, occasionally some people will order parts from us if they want to do the repair themselves. So we do help out with that from time to time. But I would say 90, 95% of the time people are just sending them to us for repair. You know, occasionally people are ordering a part from us. Um, but our website is uh, fencerfixer.com. That's F as in Frank on both Fencer and Fixer. And uh, so you can hit the subscribe button if you like, hit the thumbs up button if you like, and if you hit the little description tab at the bottom there, there's a little link there that you can click on or maybe copy and paste to your browser. It takes it to our website, and it also, um, get that pushed on there. It also, there's a link to our Facebook page. You can go check us out there. Anyway, but until we put another you know, video out there and everything, um, we will see you later. Clicking right along.